Argentina's president has sought the help of Pope Francis in a territorial dispute with Britain. During their meeting in the Vatican, Christina Kirchner asked the new pontiff to support Argentina's claims to the Falklands Islands, which are known to Argentinians as the Malvinas. Falklands residents recently voted overwhelmingly to remain a British territory. The leaders met at the Vatican just a day before his installation mass. The Pope clashed with Fernandez when he was Archbishop of Buenos Aires over the legalization of same-sex marriage. But the leaders put their quarrels behind them to exchange gifts. Fernandez said she asked the Pope to intervene in the dispute with Britain over the Falkland Islands. The countries went to war in 1982 over the territory in the South Atlantic. Argentines called the islands Las Malvinas. Now we sit with a historic opportunity, a much more favorable outlook in front of us. Both the UK and Argentina are governed democratically. There's no danger of anything more aggressive than the UK's military presence in the area. There are a few countries more peaceful than Argentina. The only thing we want is that the UK complies with the UN resolutions so we can sit down together and talk. I asked the Holy Father for his mediation in achieving a dialogue between the two parties. The Argentinian president is in Rome, like many other world leaders, for the Pope's inauguration mass. And despite weather that would have sent Noah running for a set of oars, street cleaners and security officers set about preparing Vatican City and the rest of Rome for the expected influx of the faithful. In fact, a million people are expected to swell St. Peter's Square and the streets all around for the Pope's investiture. And with the enthronement expected to cause chaos on the roads, residents are being compensated with free underground trains for the day. For Argentines already living in Italy, the election of one of their own to the papacy is an exciting moment, even for those who have lost faith in the church. I'm here today and I didn't baptize my children because after I saw the, these things that are happening in the church, I didn't want my children to be baptized. But maybe if he does something, maybe I'm going to do that. We're proud, happy but proud, because he seems like a breath of fresh air. Pope Francis has not put a foot wrong so far. Indeed, his actions during these first few days could not have been better orchestrated by a PR expert.